Alright, first I'm going to paint the mountain and landscape using ivory black. And now let's add some green and black to get the combination. Alright, uh, the combination is working quite well. Next I'm going to paint the rest of the landscape. First I'm giving the initial coating using green. Right, now it's time to paint uh, the grass and the leaves in this landscape. The reason why I'm using the black color is to highlight the landscape. I have mixed two important colors to paint this landscape, you know, the yellow and the green. I have mixed up both of these colors and now I'm painting these colors upon the landscape. And this will take time, you have to be very calm when you're painting the landscape like this. And paint carefully, uh, don't put your hand on the painting. Right, uh, let's leave this to dry for a few minutes and next, next let's paint the remaining stuffs which means the grasslands. And right now I'm using cotton swab to paint the landscape and to give a little bit realistic look. And now let's add some highlights to the mountain using the same ivory black. Now let's work on the remaining incompleted places near the waterfalls. And also let's paint the detailed rocks. Now let's paint the side part of the mountain. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the waterfall. Alright now it's time to paint uh, the water flow. Next, uh, 
I have to paint the clouds in the sky. I'm using a sponge and a brush to paint the clouds in the sky. In order to make the work quite easier, I'm using the sponge and brush to paint the clouds. You know, this is really working nice. It's really nice to paint using the sponge. Alright, now it's time to give a highlighted look for the sky. I'm using light sky blue to paint the sky. I'm using the sp same method, same sponge, like I painted the clouds. And now, let's give some finishing touches to the painting. And alright, the painting is completed. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel.